everything is connected. We should look at the entire situation with the paradigm of the network. What it makes it so powerful is also what it makes it so vulnerable, explosive and dangerous. We can apply network theory to a virus, spreading around the world, expanding from city to countries, from individual to families, to continent to the entire world. If you know a little bit of information technology, you know how a virus spread throughout networks. Networks need to have safety measures in place to serve humanity. The way we let goods, people, information, money flowing in our networks is wrong and made this global network vulnerable to political health and economic decline. Everything is connected, not only geographically. This is how everything is collapsing so quickly and severely. The global operation system of today should take into account the entire networks of nodes and connections among countries, policies, and the actual individual forming such networks. This is the main vulnerability. Currently, there are no quality measures to balance the global flows in this network. Flows of people, goods and money flowing without a global governance couldn't end up well. Being globally connected is about being all affected all together. That's why we need to organize forming a global government and policies. Nevertheless, this really shows how humans are vulnerable. And it's really personal. Especially you can see how inequality comes to light. Who can really afford to be in this situation? And who is going to be able to come out of this situation? Well, I, I don't think it will be Wall Street to do that. This week, trillions of dollars of bailout were approved here in the US. It's as, twice as much as the amount for the economic crisis in 2008. It's a huge amount of money. Money that that goes mainly to the same corporation that made this network so vulnerable. There was nothing normal before. It was global insanity. Nothing should go back to normal. It is not an economic stimulus that will help to reshape our future, nor financial instruments alone. It is the, the design of our global policies that can improve our global society. We need to hold accountable who made this network vulnerable and build a new system that is more robust and secure and equal for the difficult future we face.